All right, a lot of people ask me how to do this one. You may have seen them around. Uh, they're kind of called like Tiny Town or Tiny People, but uh, ultimately it's just a tilt shift, except you make it in Photoshop rather than buying the uh, specialty lenses. It's a pretty cool effect, and it can be used for multiple things. Its coolest effect is it essentially makes large groups of people, when it's shot from a high angle, look like uh, they're little tiny toys. It's it's really cool. So here's how here's the effect. Here's what the photo looks like before. As you can see, you can see everyone this time. Now they're a little blurred out, makes everyone a little tinier. This isn't a great example, but you get the point. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we'll drag it into Photoshop here. We get this. Once you're here, it's really easy. So what we want to do first <clears throat> is you want to come over here to your gradient tool. If you're not on the gradient tool and it looks like the paint bucket, just hold it down select your gradient tool. Next you want to come up here and you want to click the fourth option from the left. It's called a reflected gradient. Now when you make this you want to make sure that your palette is black and white with black on the left and white on the right. That will uh, determine which way the the color works. So next what you're gonna do with those options selected is hit your Q button. Just hit Q. And that's gonna turn you into quick mask mode. As you can see over here it says enter quick mask. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift, you're going to find a good spot in the center, and just drag down. That's going to create a red line. Basically this red line is going to be what it selects. And uh, this is going to be the part that's going to be visible. Everything that's not red will be blurred. And that's why you have the gradient so it slowly fades in and fades out. It gives you that cool effect. If you don't get it quite right or you're up too tall or your, your uh, line's not where you need it, just go ahead and redo it. You can do it as many times as you need to. And you can make the line as big or as narrow as you want. I like about right there. Once you get something that you select that you like, just go ahead and simple enough, just hit Q again. You should get some of this dancing ants look around it here. You see them all moving around. Once you get that, we're going to go up to filter, come down to blur, and choose lens blur. You'll open up a page like this. Depending on the size, it could take a while, it could take just a few seconds. Um, what you want to do here is use these sliders to get the effect that you want. I'm going to slide it over just a little bit more to get a little bit more blur going. You can mess with some of this other stuff, but it really won't do too much until you want to fine tune it. And when you're done with that, click OK. It's going to apply the filter, and to get rid of the dancing ants, hit Control or Command D. And there you are. Pretty simple. Just to give you an idea. Before. And after. Pretty easy. Have fun.